Okay, hello, Sim fans, and welcome back to the channel. Now, I know many of you have asked me to do a video showing a fix or rather a workaround for getting the LED lights to work on the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Now, I think since Sim Update 9, and I'm not 100% sure of this, but since Sim Update 9, the LED lights continuously break. You can get them to work after reinstalling the software package for like once, maybe if you're lucky twice, but then they go out again. Uh, many of you will then reinstall the driver software package from Honeycomb. I have a much easier workaround or fix. Uh, it's just replacing one file, backing up one file after you do uh, the fresh install. I'll show you what that is, how to do that, and uh, it can get you going a lot quicker. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you all is Right now, as you can see, the beautiful PMDG 737 in the background isn't running yet, but I want to show that the lights will not come on. So I am going to go ahead and turn on the battery power for the aircraft. So I go up top. I click this here. Battery power is on. But as you can see, none of the LED lights on the Bravo Throttle Quadrant are currently on or working. So let's talk about how to fix that. Okay, so for this fix, what you're going to want to do is get a fresh install of the Honeycomb software. Now, before you do that, you need to uninstall the current version that you have that's broken. Um, essentially, there is going to be a file that we are going to copy as a backup before the first time we load Microsoft Flight Simulator so that we can revert back to just copying that one file back to a specific directory we'll get here to in a moment. Uh, that will be a lot easier and quicker fix than uninstalling and reinstalling the entire software package, which you may have already done and you may already be familiar with. If so, just go ahead and skip forward. I have this video indexed and you can go right to the file copy backup and the actual workaround fix. But for those of you that aren't familiar with uninstalling the Bravo software, um, it is an important step for this to work. So I'm going to show you now. So first thing, just type in search do remove and then you'll notice there's this add or remove programs so you select that uh, let's get this in view and so the first thing you want to do in this search list is search for honeycomb and so here you find the honeycomb aerosauce honeycomb msfs that's the honeycomb bravo software so you can just click on that click uninstall Uninstall again. Uh, you'll get a setup uninstall message. Just hit yes. And then it's going to ask if you are sure you want to completely remove Aerosoft Honeycomb MSFS and all of its components. Go ahead and say yes. And at that point, you will have Aerosoft Honeycomb was successfully removed and you hit OK. That's all there is to it. Now let's get on with reinstalling the software. OK, so after you get the software uninstalled from your Windows system, next thing you want to do is download the latest drivers from Honeycomb's site. So that's just flyhoneycomb.com. I have a link below. But once you get there, you just go up here to the menu, hamburger menu, go to customer support and scroll down to you can see downloads. Click on downloads, view downloads. And right here, at Microsoft Flight Simulator, just go ahead and click the download link and it will download to your downloads folder and then you just unzip that and install the software. I won't go through that in this video, but I think all of you are probably fairly familiar with that. OK, so now that you have the software downloaded, now you want to install it. So just simply what I would suggest is right clicking it, do run as administrator. Hit yes, um, that way it's going to use elevated privileges to install the software. So we're going to say OK. Uh, and so now we just need to go ahead and say next, accept the license agreement next. There's also this location. This is critical right now. So in your Microsoft Flight Simulator package, you'll notice there is this file for XML path. Um, and so we are going to get back into it. That's a, that's a pretty critical thing here. So note that path for when you install the software, because you're going to go to that or we're going to go to that later so I can show you the workaround and the fix. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and hit install. And there it goes it installed. So we're good to go there. 
Okay, so now important, before you start Microsoft Flight Simulator for the very first time, this is um, very important. You will want to go to that path that we noted for user, your user path or the cache file. That's going to be a file that you want to copy and make a backup before you launch Flight Simulator for the first time. So you've got your user, your username will be here, app data, local packages, this long string for Microsoft Flight Simulator. What you will want to do is make a shortcut or grab this shortcut to local cache because in here, the critical file that you want to copy and back up and place in a safe location, a backup location, maybe you want to create a folder or you can even create it here. And uh, you could even do like uh, create maybe a new folder in here called backup. And then place that file in here. So paste that exe XML file. That's the file that uh, will fix your Bravo throttle quadrant. Plus, you'll have an original copy of that before you start deleting it anyway. Um, so do that first. That is critical. So make a backup. That is going to be the copy when your Bravo throttle quadrant LED lights stop working. You'll want, just simply want to copy that and replace the file here and it will fix your LED issue. Okay, Sim fans. Now we have Microsoft Flight Simulator loaded back up. As you can see, hey, look at that. The LED lights are working. You got the three landing gear lights working. You can see the red uh, LED indicators below. Uh, those are now working once again, as you would expect after you reinstall the software. Now, inevitably, what will happen most likely is um, you'll load up Microsoft Flight Simulator and after the first or second time that the LED lights work, they'll stop working. Okay, Sim fans, so here we are and the LED lights have failed. Now for this demo, I was testing it. I actually exited out of Microsoft Flight Simulator, switched between aircraft because I thought that might be corrupting it. It still was working until I shut my computer down and started back up. Now you can see the lights are not working. We're loaded up into the aircraft and then we can go ahead and turn on, although I don't think it's necessary for the PMDG, but we'll go ahead anyway and turn on the battery because uh, but you can see it still, the lights are not coming on. Okay, so we're back here um, with our file explorer. And uh, remember, you'll want to go to C, users, your, your username, app data, local packages, Microsoft, that string, and then local cache. And again, um, if we go up one level, you'll see that there's a shortcut there. Again, I would suggest or recommend that uh, you just place a shortcut, that shortcut on your desktop to easily get there, but however you want to do it. But uh, so remember, we created this backup directory. So all we have to do now to make this work is go to backup, copy that exe.xml file, and go right back up to the root here. There's that exe, hit paste. Go ahead and replace the file. There you go, it's replaced. Once you do that, then we will load Microsoft Flight Simulator and it should be fixed. We are gonna go ahead and load up Burbank and see if that file copy fixes the problem. As you can see the Bravo lights are off, but it's still loading. Uh, moment of truth, friends. And there you have it. See the lights are back on. I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, ready. And that said, as you can see, we've got the three green. The LED lights are back on. And uh, that does it. So that should uh, fix the issue. Again, it's not a complete fix. Uh, it's more of a workaround, but it's a lot better and simpler and faster than reinstalling your Honeycomb Bravo software. So hopefully uh, either Microsoft, Asobo, or Honeycomb will get this issue addressed because I know it's impacting many of us with the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. If uh, you found this video informative, please smash that thumbs up button, do a like, and do subscribe. And until next time, Sim fans, stay safe, take care, and of course, blue skies. We will see you soon.